Assalamu alaikum everyone. How are you all? This is your math class and today we are going to learn about tests of divisibility. Tests of divisibility means rules of divisibility. Students, these rules are actually the clues which help us to test if one number is divisible by another number without doing a lengthy calculation. These rules also help us to find out the factors that make up a number. So let's start with the definition of the divisible by. Divisible by means a number divides another number without leaving any remainder. So it means today we are going to learn more about division but in a very easy way. So let's start with the very first rule, rule number one. It helps us to find out whether any number is divisible by two. According to this rule, any number with 0, 2, 4, 6, 8 at the unit place is divisible by 2. Students, you know very well these numbers are the even numbers. So it means all even numbers are divisible by 2. It means any big number with any even number at the unit place is divisible by 2. For example, see this number 148. First of all, give it a place value on the top, units, tens, hundreds. So according to rule number 1, we have to see only the unit place whether we have any even number at the unit place or not. Students, we have 8 at the unit place. So, 8 is an even number. So, it means 148 will be divisible by 2. So, we will write our answer. Yes, 8 is an even number at the unit place. So, 148 is divisible by 2. See this second example now. The number is 381. So we have to see whether 381 is divisible by 2 or not by following rule number 1. So students, we have to only focus at the unit place. What do we have at the unit place? Yes, we have 1 at the unit place. So, 1 is not an even number. So, our answer will be no. 1 is not an even number at the unit place. So, 381 is not divisible by 2. So, students, are you clear with the very first rule divisible by 2? So, open up your countdown book. We will solve exercise 2a. Students, open up your page number 22, exercise 2a, question number 4. Which of the following numbers are divisible by 2? So, according to rule number 1, we have to see which of the numbers are divisible by 2. I will solve part A and C for you people and you will solve the rest of the parts yourselves. Exercise 2A question number 4 part A is 200. So by following rule number 1 we have to see whether 200 is divisible by 2 or not. So first of all students you have to give the place value on the top. Units, tens, hundreds. So according to rule number one, we have to focus the unit place. What do we have at unit place? Zero. So zero is an even number. So our answer will be yes. Zero is an even number at the unit place. So 
into 200 is divisible by 2. Question number 4 part C is 427. Focus at the unit place according to rule number 1. What do we have at unit place? 7. Do you think 7 is an even number? No, 7 is not an even number. So, the answer will be no, 7 is not an even number at the unit place. So, 427 is not divisible by 2. Rule number 2, divisible by 3. According to rule number 2, the sum of the digits must be divisible by 3. To check whether a big number is divisible by 3 or not, we have to split the number and add the digits. If the sum is divisible by 3, then the whole big number is divisible by 3. For example, 105. Now we have to see whether 105 is divisible by 3 or not according to rule number 2. So we have to split the number. 1 plus 0 plus 5 is equal 6. So now in the next step we will Write the sum and we will check whether the sum of the digits is divisible by 3 or not. Yes, 6 is divisible by 3. It comes in 3 times table. So we will write the answer. Yes, 105 is divisible by 3. The second example is 593. So according to rule number 2, we have to see whether this number is divisible by 3 or not. So we will split the number into digits and we will add up the digits. 5 plus 9 plus 3. What is the sum students? 17. Yes. So, in the next step, we will see whether 17 is divisible by 3 or not. 17 does not come in 3 times table. So, it means it is not divisible by 3. Our answer will be no, 593 is not divisible by 3. Now open up your page number 22 of your countdown books and take out exercise 2a question number 5. Which of the following numbers are divisible by 3? I will solve part A and C for you people and you will follow the same and do the rest of the parts yourselves. Question number 5 part A is 624. So according to rule number 2 we have to split the number. 6 plus 2 plus 4. Add the digits and the sum is 12. Yes. In the next step we will see whether 12 is divisible by 3 or not. What do you think students? 12 comes in 3 times table? Yes, it comes. It is divisible by 3. So our answer will be yes, 624 is divisible by 3. Part C is 130. So according to rule number 2, we have to split the number and add up the digits. 1 plus 3 plus 0. What is the sum students? 4. Yes, in the next step we will see whether 4 is divisible by 3 or not. 
No, 4 is not divisible by 3. So, we will write the answer. No, 130 is not divisible by 3. So students, in this video, you people have learned rule number 1 and rule number 2 of tests of divisibility. So keep practicing them. Stay home, stay safe. Goodbye.